Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So you see what's left of some of our experimentation. You hear the generator. So this is what we had to deal with. Power, has, power supply has come and go. Today obviously someone is running a generator because they need power. It's not as bad as me being inside, but I'll do as, as quickly as I can here. Show you what I want to show you, then go back inside and then show you more. So if you recall, we've done the long batteries. Uh, we had four of them. We, well, my people had not checked properly. So if you look here, you would see it says 9.3. That's when you put a load on it, it shows 9.3. So this one and the other one failed. The two that I had had on there did very well and we sent it to a customer temporarily to use till we get his lithium ion batteries in. So we sent two to a customer and then these two, we're going to send it to a recycler with those. So back to our new project. So as you can see, um, you see balances. So this is a 4S uh, setup, let the lights on. 4S setup and it is, um, guess what, let me prepare to be surprised. Before I surprise you, let me see what the voltage is. So we're putting in 91 watts. We reduced this from um, 88. We reduced this from 600 watts to 300 watts because the consumption here is so low that it didn't make any sense to give them 600 watts in panel. The only powering lights and charging phones. So we've had this sitting for a while. We struggled at the beginning to top balance them and then we try bottom balancing them then we've had discharged them. So we struggled and the only way we found we can charge them was by putting these balances on. Now I'm not sure they are doing anything because they're all lit equally. Okay, let me go back. We left it on with the balancer and the bal and the balancer ran and the battery came to whatever the minimum level is. So they are balanced, I guess they are bottom balanced because over time they discharged and they discharged below what is considered acceptable. But when we reconnected them today, they were 12.7 volts. So that's a good sign. So it's a uh, 4S 2P. And ta -da! These are our new batteries. 4S 2P. Okay, so I purchased this about two years ago and I could never get them to work because we couldn't properly charge them. When we tried to charge them, some cells would run off and then when we discharged them, uh, you had some that you had more capacity in others. Eventually with time, and if you recall, I did a video where I had resistors, there was nothing I didn't do. Eventually we got them to settle and we installed this same number for a client and so far so good, it's working great for them. So we had um, 12 left, one, one day just started to leak and it just started to spew fluid from the top. So I guess that one is bad. So I have three plus this. So I have a total of 11 left. So rather than go through the experimentation with trying to get this battery back, I've actually had my people peel the covers on and put some water, distilled water in it. I decided it was just easier for me to use this resource I already had and then try to deploy it, deploy it you know, charge it and cycle it a couple of times and then if possible take them out into the field for a client or continue to use them here. So the sun came out a little bit more. Up, oh, not that much more. Okay, so I've seen as much as um, 150. It's now 132. Okay, so I've seen as much as 150, 136, now 160, wow, 179, 194, 194 out of 300. Not bad at all, 198. 201 out of 300 so not bad so it's going to take a while to properly fully charge these batteries and I'm fine with that so without further much ado I'm going to go inside the house where it's much more quiet and we're going to go over the screen of the LUX power I'm sorry of the DE showing you um, what I've done over the last week uh, production and then my consumption so I'm back to the screen that I look at on my day, so it shows AWPS 5 kilowatt, um, AWPS renewable energy, serial number. Um, right now it says we're producing 669 watts. That was at 1503. It's currently 1512. So that was 13 min 13, 12 minutes ago. 
669 we've done 7.90 so far in the one week we've had it on we've generated 63.19 kilowatt hours so not bad at all so um it shows you what each string is doing string one uh 317 string two 352 and then let me show you the part that i find rather interesting so it shows you these graphs so here are the graphs, right? So I, let me show you by the month. Let me see what details I can show you by the month. So let me select parameters. Select parameters. Kilowatt hours daily generation. Um, OK, so kilowatt hours daily generation. So here we go. So um, the first day, which was just a few hours, doesn't really count. We did 700 watt hours, which doesn't count. First full day, 9.6 kilowatt hours. Second full day, 7.6 kilowatt hours. And then we had some really bad days. This 22nd, 3.2 kilowatt hours. So it rained that day. So it was just a horrible day for us. Now let's look at it on a weekly basis. And on a weekly basis, we're able to give you a breakdown. We can select what parameters we want to look at on a weekly basis. It's a little slow in loading, but it's coming. So here's the data you're able to look at from Monday the 22nd up until today the 26th. So here it shows you um, time of day 001859, uh, PV1 voltage 1153, we're generating zero. 608, PV1 voltage 15.3, generating zero. And it starts to climb. PV voltage 84.6 at 65508, 14 watts. P voltage one one twenty six point nine at six forty eight one watt. So that tells you. Um, then here by nine twenty one, we're generating seven hundred nine twenty one a.m. Sorry, let me see. Okay, ten ten. Let me see. Can I get? Okay, nine thirty three. We're generating four hundred eighty four watts. Um, ten ten eight seventy nine total. And then we peaked at I believe. Hold well on, 2,130 watts at 11.34 a.m. And then it was downhill from that point on. So it just came all the way down um, by, let me see, by, hold on, by 6.32 p.m. that day were generating nothing because I guess it, it started to rain. And as you can see, as those numbers kept going down, 4.48 were only generating 4.48 p.m. We're only generating um, 84 watts total. So it tells you it started to rain. And then that next day, by 7.26, 80 watts. By 1.43, 454 watts. And then we picked at 2,322 watts by uh, 11.20. And then it was just downhill from that point on because obviously it got cloudy and the rain started. So by... 4 o'clock, we were only producing 460 watts. And at 6.38, we were producing 67 watts. The next day, by 8.39, we were producing 838. And I think we peaked at 2,262 at 10.16. Let me confirm that. Yep, that's it. And then from that point, ooh, here, yeah, sorry. We hit 3,070 at 11.22. I mean, I've had a higher number than that. 3,000, yep, 3,070 at 11.20. So it seems to be our performance seems to peak at about 11, 11.30, and then we start to go downhill from that point on. And then, um, as you can see, at um, 4.57, at 4.21, we're doing 1,000 watts still. So this wasn't such a bad day. And then um, the next day, same story at 11 o'clock, 2,200 watts. So it seems to be around 11 o'clock time, 1208, 26, 2,620. And it's just that's going downhill from that point on. So it might be worthy that we go revisit what we've done on the roof to find out why we start to lose after 11. So here, 1031, 
Oh, we saw 25.08 at, after 12, which is interesting. 25.08 at 12.10. And then that's today, actually. So the numbers have... So actually, okay, let me, re let me revisit this. So there's nothing wrong with our connection, actually. What it means is we're getting into float somewhere around 11 and 12 during the day. And then once we're in float, it only produces what we need. So it begins to make sense to me. Uh, these batteries get full very quickly. And then our production starts to taper off unless we put a load. And it continues to, how do you say, uh, generate. But it only generates what we are going to use. So I think so far this has been incredible. I've liked this inverter very, very much. It's performed beyond my wildest expectations. It's doing everything, it's doing everything I've asked it to do and more. So you can see our production, you know, we, once the batteries are full, the numbers start to go down 2508, 2693 at 12.53. And then it's just downhill from that point on. So between 11 and 12, every day our batteries get full. And then the system starts to dial down what its production is. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. If you're yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. And also hit the bell icon so that when we put out content, you'll be notified once again. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.